Jasper Report Server 7.8 contains a number of cosmetic updates and some functional improvements in dashboards and ad hoc designer. Let's take a look. The library page, the repository page, and the search results page have all been restyled. On the search results page, we still have the filter categories on the left, and we've added expand collapse behavior for each of the categories. The schedules list page, as well as the schedule editor, have the new look, as do each of the management pages. Manage organizations, manage users, and manage roles. Next, I'll show you the improvements made to the ad hoc designer. You can now drag fields and measures directly to the canvas to start building your visualization. I'll undo my visualization to show you the other two new features in ad hoc. The visualization selector has a new panel on the bottom that shows you which visualization type is currently applied. This panel also contains a description of the requirements for each visualization type. Just hover on a visualization and the requirements for that visualization type display at the bottom. I'd like to create a column chart, so I'm going to select column, apply and close. The next feature is an improvement in chart rendering. Chart details appear as you build your visualization. In previous versions, charts rendered with the lowest level of detail as you built your chart. So this chart would have looked like this until I manually adjusted the data level slider all the way to the right. Now you can see what you're building while you build it. Finally, we have some dashboard improvements. Let's go to a list of dashboards, and I'd like to make some changes to my sales metrics dashboard. By default, dashboards open in preview mode. In previous versions, if you had intended to open a dashboard in edit mode, you would need to go back to the list of dashboards, right click on your dashboard, and select the open in designer option. Not anymore. I now can open my dashboard in the preview mode and then use this button in the upper right to switch to edit mode. Now that I'm in the dashboard designer, I can make my changes. I'd like to enable one of the other new dashboard features. This feature applies to report and ad hoc view dashlets. If I double click on this ad hoc view dashlet, it'll open the dashlet properties dialog. There's a new option for show visualization selector button right here. And if I mark this checkbox, then anyone who views my dashboard can change the visualization type. Just like so. The final improvement to dashboards is in the rendering of ad hoc view dashlets. Ad hoc view dashlets used to render as reports. They now use our embeddable ad hoc view component, which provides an improved experience for dashlets containing a table or crosstab. For example, looking at this ad hoc view dashlet, product results by store type, we have a table. You'll see that we have an infinite scroll on the table and sticky headers. This eliminates the pagination control that takes up extra space at the top of a dashlet. We hope you enjoy these improvements and that they make things faster and easier for you.